We don't have nurses, we don't have counselors, we don't have essential staff that our children need to get through a day safely. How dare you cut the teachers down and cut the counselors down and cut the nurses down, put more students in a class and expect everyone to flourish. When you have over a billion dollars in cuts, what do you expect is going to happen in the classrooms? Our teachers and our support staff have been doing so much with so little over the years that now, even now we're down to the bare bones, this is unacceptable. unacceptable. This is dangerous. Yeah. And we have to keep fighting because it's not enough. And like Yvette said, there is more money and our children deserve this education. The school that goes from sixth through eighth grade, which is Feltonville Arts and Sciences, does not have a counselor because they were only, they only had 595 students. So I have my former students coming back to me at Feltonville Intermediate to try to get help getting into high schools. As a parent volunteer at Feltonville Arts and Sciences, I assure you that we are in need of a full-time counselor. I would hate for anybody to look at our numbers and feel like we don't need a counselor because we are few. Not only do we need a counselor, our problems are bilingual, okay? Not only do our eighth graders want to go to high school, they have problems that need to be addressed by a trained professional. It's just, it's a shame the fact that we don't have counselors to help us, so yeah, we need counselors. There's also kids who need help to get in high schools and like, there's a lot of kids with anger management and they need someone to talk to to express their feelings to. Security issues, health issues, education, all right, they're not, their needs are not being met. I don't know what makes us so unworthy of the basic services, but I'm here to tell you that we need to demand it. Well, that's really what I'm